when our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ opened the third seal. At that time, third living creature say to John, Come, and John looked and he saw a black horse. Its rider was holding a pair of scales in his hand. Then John heard a voice coming from among the four living creatures, saying, A quart of wheat for a denarius, and three quarts of barley for a denarius, and do not damage the oil and the wine. Let us understand its meaning. Black color indicates sadness. After the opening of the third seal, all the currencies, that is, dollar, rupee, euro, dinar, etc., will be ceased. Denarius means one day's wages. One quart means approximately one kilogram. That means, for one day's wages, they will get one kilogram of wheat, and for one day's wages, they will get three kilograms of barley. Whoever will be work for a day, they may be a doctor, engineer, professor, laborer, etc. They will not get any currencies for their wages, but they will get one kilogram of wheat for one day's wages, and they will get three kilogram of barley for their one day's wages. After that, there will be a terrible famine all over the world. Many people are going to die due to this severe famine. After the opening of the third seal, what else is going to happen during the time of the Great Famine? Let us understand from the Old Testament. Lamentations chapter 4 verse 4 through 11 says that babies are so thirsty that their tongues are stuck to the roof of the mouth. Children go begging for food, but no one gives them any. All who ate expensive foods lie starving in the streets. Those who grew up in luxury now sit on trash heaps. My nation was punished worse than the people of Sodom, whose city was destroyed in a flash without the help of human hands. The leaders of Jerusalem were purer than snow and whiter than milk. Their bodies were healthy and glowed like jewels. Now they are blacker than tar and no one recognizes them. Their skin clings to their bones and is drier than firewood. Being killed with a sword is better than slowly starving to death. Life in the city is so bad that loving mothers have boiled and eaten their own children. The Lord was so fiercely angry that he burned the city of Zion to the ground.